this is the phantom safety pin and this is help it's the unfinished shadow game and unfinished it is it's a game where you go around playing as a little ufo thing and you collect stars yes stars and it's quite a unique game i've never seen anything like it uh it's just played with the arrow keys and this game actually has no music now the controls for this are very basic. Um, you just move with the arrow keys. This is you, this little UFO. Ignore my mouse on screen. And your object is to get to the end with all of the stars. And you need all of the stars to get out. Otherwise you can't get out. So you just go through all the levels and you don't even need to have all the levels to finish the game. That dude right there is a scout bot. He doesn't hurt you. He just provides light. And light can... Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Now, yeah, so you have to move as fast as you can if you want all the stars in this level. Because the way the uh, bot moves. Ooh, that spooked me, minute. Can pretty much screw you over. Haha, <laughs> stupid scout bot. It died. Well, I guess you don't even need it to whatever because you can push it back on the box. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, different uh, physics elements to this puzzle, to this game. I really like this game. It's kind of a shame that they didn't finish it, actually. Level 3. Yeah, those things, those can hurt you. Right now we're safe, but later on we're going to get into trouble. If you hide in the shadows, though, they can't see you. So, now it's going to start getting tricky, because now we're going to actually be able to be hurt by these things. So if we're not careful, these, uh, yeah, see, oh, get out! Yeah, see, if you're not careful, those guys will hurt you. Yeah, I collected that. So you gotta go where the light is not. Yeah, this particular part is a little intense, I think. Not, oh my god, double rainbow intense. Oh my god, it's full on, but... Move! No! Damn it. <sighs> I don't like those scout bots very much. Move! Yeah, this is going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause until I get that last star. Okay, I'm back and I finally got that last star. God. I've never liked that particular level of this game. Just because it's a little silly. Now this one's kind of fun. Because you have to uh, go around and trick them. Stay out of the light. But again, if you stay out of the light, you are perfectly safe. There is absolutely no way that you can be hurt if you stay out of the light. Now this is kind of cool. You knock over those boxes, it blocks out all the light. This guy can't hurt you, you can go right in front of it, yeah, you're safe. Now, this one's kind of uh, persnickety, because you have to get right down there and there's some boxes you need to get. Like, you have to knock down, I believe, you have, you have to knock down some boxes. Uh, there's a way you do it. It might take me a while. But as you can see, this is kind of a challenging little game, actually. Not, not as, uh, easy as you thought. Yeah, you have to get the boxes up. Oh, freaking A. There is a way to get that star. I know there is. Just takes a while to get it. Get out of the light. Damn it, I screwed myself. That's what that X button does. It makes you a splod. Yeah, it just makes you explode. It's, it doesn't do much else besides that. Not very useful. 
at least I don't think it's very useful. So, you only need one box there to block the light. No! Damn it. <sighs> so much for trying strategy. Like I said, it's been a bit of a, of a time since I've done this particular game. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. No. There we go. <laughs> Get in your corner. There. Now we should not have a problem. What you actually have to do is get a box on top of a box. And it's not as easy as it looks. See? No, don't fall! I'll come back to this stupid level. Because like, like I said, it's a little difficult. Okay, this is how you gotta do it. You gotta get a bunch of the boxes, and you gotta uh, push them across. And if you do it right... Oh, no, not like that. If you do it right you should have a whole bunch of boxes. And what you do with these whole bunch of boxes is you push them up against each other and you try to block off the light from that other one and use it as a shield. Or that's how you're supposed to do it. I'm somehow not being able to do it today, but that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, that's how you do it. You gotta, like, block off the light. You see what I'm doing there? It takes a little getting used to, but if you're careful, you should be able to do it. And sometimes you may have to risk yourself, but uh, I did it. Now, after a while, the levels don't get quite so dangerous. Like, this one isn't that hard. Um, this one you just gotta be careful in following this light beam shadow. So we gotta wait till it comes all the way up here. Well, not even all the way up. There's a really cool level later on. You'll see it. It's we gotta like, like uh, move a clone of yourself. You'll see it later. But this one, you actually just gotta follow in the light bulb's shadow. So you can get really close, and you'll be fine. And you gotta stick as close to the shadows as possible. This part can get a little sketchy. Gotta be getting a little closer. But yeah, you can get quite, quite close if you're careful. Like, you see there? Bamf. Normally I can get these levels in one or two runs. Here's the clone level. This one's kind of unique, because wherever your clone goes, you go, your clone goes. Now, there's not any, uh, now, now there isn't much practicality to much of this, but, uh, no, go the other way. Got to get it so your clone will go up. Oh, you don't even have to. You actually got to wait for this light, this light down here, to hit the green, and then you real quick zip through. Because if you hit it, it kills you. It's a laser, and you don't want the laser to kill you. So that means you have to start all over. Yep, all this, all over again. Otherwise, it's a pretty fun little game. This little, this little aspect of the game 
I don't, I don't see it used anywhere else in the game, and it's kind of unique. Like I said, this is an unfinished game, it's just there. This one's kind of cool. You have, uh, shadows, and you gotta go through the shadows, and, uh, you got, uh, these light thingies. There's a wall here. You can go up this way, and if you push this, you can see there's a hole down here, and you go around. It otherwise looks like a black wall, doesn't it? Now this is kind of tricky. If you look there, you can see underneath there's a little hole you go under. Kind of, uh, tricksy on their part. This is actually the last level of this unfinished game. There are no more after this. Oh, I'm sorry, you go into the purple light over here. And that is the end of the game. And then you go through here. Congratulations, you have survived several waves of abstract lights and arbitrarily Y-shaped rooms. Back to title screen. Oops. <laughs> and then, there you go. Clear save data. That will clear all your save data, as it says. But otherwise, that's help. It's the unfinished shadow game. If you're looking for a quick little diversion, I suggest this. It's kind of fun, even though it's not really finished. And it's never going to be finished, according to the uh, developer. But it's cute. It's fun. It's unique. It's something to do. I will see you on our next LP video, which will cover something that is actually quite emotionally heart-wrenching. So, until then, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. I will see you later.